Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to another video. We are back at the Urban Creek again, and I wanted to fish the section from, essentially from where day one left off, and I want to try to make it up to that Wawa. So that's the game plan for today. Uh, we're gonna fish a little bit of uh, some of the water that we already fished, just because it was so good. And uh, I wanna go over real quick what I'm using today. Start out, I'm using a Shimano Stimulus, uh, Orange Panther Martin, and a Fluger Tryon. Uh, the rod action is ultra light. What I've been using before is, I think it's like medium, seven foot, and uh, it's a little overkill, but you can cast further with a longer rod, which I really do enjoy. So we're gonna get in the water here and uh, put this little ultralight guy to the test, I guess. See how he holds up against these wild trout. Got a bite. And what do you know? It came on the black and yellow Panther Martin. I don't know what it is about that that works so well. Oh, there we go. Damn. That's two. Two we lost. That one was probably eight to ten inches. Damn, damn, damn. Oh, got him. <laughs> I don't got him. Oh, got him. Got him, got him. There we go. Okay, buddy. Okay. Get you off real quick. First one of the morning. See you, buddy. All right. We're on now, boys. Just gotta get that skunk out of the boat sometimes. Ooh, got him. That's a nice one. All right, I don't have a net. I got it. Okay, okay. Woo wee. Healthy, healthy wild brownie right there, boys. Tell you what, I am really digging the, the ultra light. It's taken me a while to get used to. Uh, just because it doesn't really have much of a backbone when the fish bite. Before I just I pretty much never set the hook, I would just reel. This I kinda have to set the hook a little bit. Ooh, ooh man, that was a good fish. Oh god. Oh, I would just cast right over that twig. Oh, I got it back. I don't know if anyone else has noticed or or uh, if anyone else even does this, but when I get to a hole like this where it's like, okay, I know there's going to be fish in here. Does anyone else just like kind of cast at it in sections? Like, so I start down here, I started here, started here, started there, started here, fish behind this rock here. I'm, I'm going to work my way up. Can anyone else do that? Does that matter? I feel like it helps. I really feel like it helps. Kind of like, you know, if I go, so let's say I go and I cast right up there in like the money zone, right up there, right? Okay, so I'm not gonna catch anything there. Let's say I did and it makes a whole bunch of commotion. Wouldn't that end up scaring away the fish? That's why I do it. I don't know. Comment below, let me know what you think. Am I crazy or what?
Ooh, got him. Little guy. Okay. Ooh, gosh, he got all the freaking hooks. Buddy, he could have wanted it a little less. There we go. Ooh, man, look at those reds. Ooh-wee. Gee, buddy. There has got to be a decent sized trout in this hole here. It's gotta be. It's just too nice. I just might not be good enough to catch it. <laughs> Made a bad cast. Now I'm all the way in that bush over there. I guess we know where we're going next. So, I'm sure you guys are noticing like my shadows over there. That is something I would highly recommend if you can avoid don't let your shadow go over uh, the water I know it's just to the side but even still I would prefer it not to be on the water at all because it's just more movement that is going to scare the fish but obviously I can't really be on the, the right side of the creek right now because that's where all the brush is ooh got him Little guy. Oh, he got off. Damn. Caught one. Yep. Yeah. All right. Now that that guy's gone, I just had a really nice one come out and smack it there. <clears throat> I had him hit it like two or three times, but I didn't want that guy to know that I, like, you know, I'm trying to keep this a little honey hole. Most of the time, you know, places I'll give away, but this one I try to keep a little secret. This is like a little flats area. Not a whole lot going on here, I think. Ooh, that was, ooh, there he is. This rod's killing me, boys. There we go. Oh my good. I didn't even move and I missed two. Oh, there we go. That's a nice one. That's three from the same spot. All different fish. And he popped off. A net. A net would have landed that fish. A decent little hole there. Oh, I think I just had another one. No, that looks, got some scum on the bottom of the hook. Just when I thought, like, yeah, this is something you can just blow by. Three or four bites out of here. Not too bad. We're not trying to catch the duck. Not trying to catch the duck. I mean, I know you guys really can't make out, but there's literally not a hole here. There's nothing there. It might be a foot deep. That's why so often, I don't know if, you know, again, I don't know what you guys know this. You gotta let me know. But, ooh, so often uh, when I'm fishing a creek, I will cast into anything that looks like it might hold a fish. Anything. If it just looks a little fishy. Might as well cast. I mean, what's, what's the worst that happens? You just don't catch anything? No big deal. It's not the end of the world. That damn duck, I'll tell you what, he is just going to be a nuisance with us. Ooh, that's good fish. That's good fish. Oh, man. Biggest one of the day. Come on. That's not a trout. <laughs> that's a sucker. Wasn't expecting that guy. He didn't even bite it. I kind of snagged him in the face. I really should come through here with the fly rod. Since there just seems to be, oh, got him. Oh, oh my God. <coughs> Since there seems to be so many fish, and I kind of know where they are, we'll have to do that. Oh, got him. There we go. 